Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Alright, so in the midst of Pink Fox being a little bit ill, nothing too drastic, she and I went to her first day, official day on the job as co-workers. <laughs> and like yesterday, I discussed this. I discussed how I feel like if you know how to work it out, you don't have to worry about it. And she and I do. But I digress. Um, I, I just feel like approach is a big deal on that. But that is not what we're talking about today. Today, I just kind of wanted to talk about that first day. Um, the only reason she's not is because she's actually keeping an eye out for someone that um, she's hoping will show up. If not, it's fine. It's nothing detrimental. Either way around, I'm not going to talk too much on that. Let's get to what I actually was going to discuss. Her first day was very interesting. It was like any other, realistically, it was like any other work day. We treated each other as coworkers. She still treated me well, like I did her, but we tried to balance out as best we could. We did not get lovey-dovey and all. I mean, I gave her a hug at a point, and she gave me once. Okay, it was once. And it was at a point where it was actually allowed. It wasn't like at a, in the middle of like a rush or anything like that, where it was like super busy. Nah, no. Um, but outside of that, we pretty much treat each other as co-workers with smiles on our faces. The interesting thing about this is that the reason I agree, I, I thought it was a good idea to do this for her, wasn't particularly because I thought we would be good coworkers, or because I thought we could overpower the idea um, that working together is bad, blah, 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 all that stuff. I mean, I, I do think that, yes, but there's one detail that I think kind of overthrows all that that will benefit her and that's a good work environment now I've discussed these kind of things before but today I kind of want to approach it for her specific sake Pink Fox has dealt with a lot of different work environments in the past and I, I, I think this particular one kind of helps anything else. What? You walked in on me talking about the fact that where we were going to hang out and we had to get some things in the mail. Yes, I just figured you would have found it. That's well, not, well that's one reason why I've been not exactly. It makes it more fun to be here with you. You, 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 okay. I, I guess just, it, it's more from a psychology, psychology kind of standpoint than a mess around with hey, hey, hey. together because it puts a sh it can put a strain on the relationship like I brought up earlier but but to defeat that strain you never talk about work at home and the reverse you don't talk about home at work pretty much but the, I think the aspect that benefited her like I was saying before it's just more the fact that it was a good environment which is not something she's really had with many of her jobs that she's tried out in the um, not to mention, like... My, my mom hates saying that she tried it out. I know most of them didn't like it. But the interesting thing about that is when it comes to jobs at home more, they also treat you like crap more. Yeah. With every job comes a... Every positive comes with a negative. Every, um, light. Within every piece of light, there's darkness. It goes both ways. Um... With every good job, there's always something bad hidden in the midst. With every bad job, there's always like this good thing that'll keep it balanced. Um, in this job's case, I think that the good definitely would outweigh the bad. There are always those bad employees there. Like that, usually that's when it comes to good jobs. That's usually what the bad is. But I guess. With, with, Our with, boss is one of the worst ones out there. 
with this particular job, it, it's going to take a lot of digging to find, just because of the fact that it's the bad. I guess you could say is just that it's you have to always be on your toes, kind of and thing. And you always have to be doing something. You well, can't just that's be on your butt means. doing nothing. That's especially when the GM or like the DM comes in. That is literally basically what I just said <laughs> in like short. Nah. Anyway, I don't know. These are kind of my thoughts on the day. I guess she's just kind of all over the place today, so it's kind of hard to say anything. I wanted to bite your finger. No. Dang it. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Now we've talked about Pink Fox's first official day. Let's see how our first official week that probably won't get discussed, though, until much later, just be due to the fact that a lot of this is being pre-prepped. Three weeks ahead of time. No, okay, not that far ahead of time. Okay, but two and a half weeks. Eventually, it'll be considered three weeks because of the upcoming move. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you like this video, if you like this kind of update real-life stuff, um, give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, Want to check out any other type of videos on the channel? Why not consider checking it out if you do not sub at least? Uh, you'll find a lot on there. Vlogs every day and a gaming video to follow a couple hours later. Either way, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye.